my children today is the first friday of october and on first fridays we always do science experiment i have sent a copy of today's science experiment which is the top which is on the topic air has weight okay you can take out that paper and uh, be ready so that soon after your exercise is over this activity is over you can start doing your activity sheet m1 children you just watch it it's only for watching for you seriya you don't have to try it out ungalku maybe coloring if you want to wish i have sent you the work worksheet you can try and see it but m2 children you definitely have to understand and if time permits and if you are curious enough you try it at home okay okay so today's experiment i need to tell something about air as such last time i told you there were three states of matter right there is a solid there is a liquid and there is air solid anything that you can hold in your hand like this is a solid correct so i showed you the pink tower and anything that you see that you can touch and hold in your hand firmly and stays in a place is called a solid correct and it is very hard you can't really poke into it correct yeah so that's a solid liquid liquid is anything like water what all is there like liquid milk oil petrol kerosene diesel yeah there are so many things like that which are just water like is it not some chemicals also will be like water only okay so water is something which has to be poured and kept inside a glass or a container what will happen can i just pour water on the table what will happen it will spill and move away it will it cannot stand straight it will just start uh, you know flowing it flows and it will spill all around is it not yes so water needs a container to be put inside otherwise it will spill and go away okay so that is your second state of matter liquid solid i told you anything which you can hold and liquid you cannot hold just like that even if you hold in your hand it will start dripping so you have to pour it in a container and solid i told you can poke into you cannot poke into it because it's very hard what about air i mean sorry water you can definitely dip your finger into it right take a look at this water it is very fine as long as it is inside the glass when i take it out of the glass it is going to spill is it not so it needs a container to hold it and i can yes poke into it is it not it gives me place to put my finger inside but i can't do the same thing for solid can i put my finger into the pink tower can i put into it can i put my finger into this no it is very hard so that is the difference between solid and liquid then i told you about the third one which is air air is everywhere around us okay it is also called as a gaseous state gas remember writing it gas yes the gas is all around it so the air that we breathe oxygen that is an air, air gas the air that we breathe out carbon dioxide that is also a gas then i told you a story of how one man he wanted to he had three sons he asked them to do something in 5 minutes so that this room is filled up so one man came and brought lot of cotton he couldn't fill it up one man brought lot of water he couldn't fill it up and the other man brought agarbatti and lit it up and the smoke it filled up the air is it not so what did we come to learn in that particular activity also that we did air occupies space okay it is occupying space that was your earlier uh, uh, your experiment also air occupies space and that is called as gas you remember it okay now i am going to tell you that for the state of matter there are two things one is it 
occupies space okay so i told you this needs a place yes it is occupying this place in the edo eduthukudu water needs space so i am pouring into it so it is occupying space and air i told you we blow into the balloon it is inside it it is occupying the space inside the balloon and also in the room correct okay so that is one thing one point for state of matter that it occupies space and the second one is it should have weight okay adukku or weight irundha da it is called a matter if there is no weight it cannot be a matter two things one it should occupy space second one it should have weight okay weight is also called mass so does this have weight yes it is kind of heavy only do you think this has weight yes a glass of water definitely has weight so how about air does air have weight it is all around you you are breathing in see if you are wearing your bag you are telling my bag is heavy if you are carrying your water bottle you are telling it is heavy if you are breathing your air in and breathing it out are you telling my air is heavy and the car the heavy are come ulukku so you are telling it is not heavy we are going to find out whether it is air has weight or not edukavad weight irukano illaya then only you can call it state of matter so this is the exercise that we are going to do for that what we need we need a balloon because there is no way we can hold last time adana pannom how where did we collect all the gas when we poured that uh, baking soda into vinegar all the gas was collected inside a balloon illaya so like that i have air inside this balloon okay this inside this is miss juno's air okay can you see can you see my air <laughs> you can't say if it is my air or your air so i filled it up with air okay so i need two balloons like this okay two balloons will fill it up and keep then i need a rope for tying it then cello tape a tape then i need this stick a very light weight stick okay a light weight stick for balancing it okay i must be able to balance it that's why i want a light weight stick okay and a pin a safety pin now see i have a balloon here okay i just blown it little bit and i put the cello tape right here okay at the bottom can you can see it quite well right yes now i am going to take a pin and poke on it you know why to make sure that this doesn't burst ulku to confirm to you that this doesn't burst see i poked into it can you hear the sound of air going yes you can poke into it it will not burst slowly all the air will come out okay okay now you see the air has come out and its size also is reduced meaning the air has completely come out of it okay now we are going to do our activity the experiment part are you ready come join me for the experiment so here i have my experiment ready for you uh, there is one thing i want you to take care the placement of the cello tape put the cello tape right below okay right underneath not anywhere because if you put anywhere and you try to puncture into it it is going to burst okay va ainala put it always underneath and uh, underneath the point anala don't inflate it too much also don't add too much pressure into the balloon light uh, inflate the balloon and then put your cello tape below come let's see what happens now this is the 
double or that uh, beam for holding it in equilibrium. Okay, actually they will dance a little bit. Can you see? But they both have the same way. So finally we come to an equilibrium. If it is not coming, adjust the central thread. Okay, the central thread you can adjust. One is on this side, the other is on that side and I have secured it with the blue tack right on top. Move the central thing along exactly so that the stick is standing parallel to the ground. Okay, it should be parallel. And then uh, you can here for your, uh, uh, for you to see whether it is moving up or down, take a look at this stick also, be the mesh behind, whether it is aligning with it. Okay. Now I have the cello tape stuck under the red balloon. See? Now I am going to poke into that. It will not burst if it is underneath, if it is pasted underneath and at the point where there is not too much of pressure, it will not burst. Okay? You see, still it is maintaining equilibrium. So I am going to burst it. I mean, I am going to puncture into it. Ready? Take a look. There, I have made a hole into it. Can you see? So my pin is a bent inside. Okay? Now after I made a hole, I can, I can feel the air coming out. If you want, I will get you the sound of the air coming out. Now please watch the stick what is happening. As the air is escaping out of this balloon, the balloon is becoming smaller. The balloon is becoming smaller because the air is going out. And you notice what happened to our stick. It is beginning to tilt, right? And why, how is it tilting? It is going downwards this side. Let me try and remove it. Can you see the balloon becoming smaller? Can you hear the sound of air? We have to wait and see what happens when the air is completely out of it. Maybe if I press a little bit, it will go out faster. Notice the beam which is here, okay? Is it beginning to tilt? That is what you have to check. As the air is coming out, you will notice that the beam is beginning to tilt. Earlier it was like this, right? It was straight. Now when one balloon's air went off, it began to tilt to the heavier side. So this is what I am trying to tell you there. Now what do you see that this balloon is heavy. This balloon is heavy and this balloon is lighter. But both the balloons were same only. Only the air inside is gone. This balloon also has same weight. This balloon has same weight. But what went now? Only the air went. Because the air in this went off, this side became heavier. Which air has weight. See, the air is completely out and it has tilted. That's because this is heavier. Anything which is heavy will come downwards. This is not all that heavy. It is light. So it is gone upwards. Heavy comes down. Why is this heavy? Because of air. So air has weight. So children, this was our experiment. So now I told you the state, any state of matter has uh, two properties. One one, it must occupy space. Wherever we keep it, it must take that place. Okay. So solid takes a place. 
liquid takes a place inside the container and air also occupies space we saw that how the balloon was inflating last time now the second thing what i am trying to tell you is it must have weight also it must be heavy enough okay so you saw that solid yes your bag is a solid it is heavy your water bottle it has water inside it is heavy and now you saw that the air inside the balloon when it went on one side when the air went up the other side the balloon got heavier and it came down balloon both are same but the air is missing which means what air has weight this is all you have to do it so in your uh, experiment sheet i'll tell you what to do okay so you see here there are two balloons when they were filled they both were same level then i poked into one balloon and when the air went off this side started getting heavier because there is still, still there is air inside it so it became heavier and it had a weight so it started tilting downwards okay so here we come to know that air has weight m1 children it's enough you color if you want to otherwise you can leave it like this m2 children you will have to write that this proves that air has weight do you know the spelling of weight well you know the spelling of eight e i g h t is it not e i g h t is eight now let's add w to it so it becomes w eight weight so easy such a big word you already know how to write it so you enjoyed the experiment okay try and do it if you can if you have balloon at home and you have the time to do it please do it otherwise if you have understood the concept it is more than enough i want you to just do your worksheet part okay will you all do it great see you again with another interesting experiment next first friday of the month okay ta da